Good morning. How are you today? Ah, namaste. All right. So, hmm, this morning we'll be focusing and um, learning how to get with a better alignment into some um, inversions. Okay, we're gonna learn some basic inversions. Um, we might not go into full headstand today. If you haven't done it before in an actual class where uh, an instructor can support you and make sure you do it correctly, please don't attempt to do it at your home, okay, first. But if you've done it, you'll have an option to go into some full inversions. Uh, before we start, we'll need today two towels, okay, or a blanket, if you have a blanket. We'll need a chair. I'm using two bolsters here, stuck one on top of another. Um, or you can just bring a chair and that will help us with, with a couple of preparatory exercises and when we do the plow, so you can rest your feet on the chair. And you might not need it, that's totally fine as well. So I'm just letting you know what props you might need today. And yoga blocks as well. Strap. Maybe, maybe at the end, if we have time to do some um, stretches. And by the way, we're going to focus on inversions again. Good morning. Let's take a moment, just sitting up nice and tall, focusing on the breath. And I'm playing music today by Fyodor Bondar, he's a music musician. And, but if at any point, it, too loud or actually you want it a little bit more loud please let me know okay so i can go a little bit okay. Great. so seated and cross-legged or whatever comfortable meditative posture let's start with the breath today bring one hand on your belly you can bring another on your ribs and then give this feel ground it's really simple so shoulders back and down Reach up through the top of the head and soften into the inhale. Allow it to happen. Inhale, expanding the belly, expanding the ribs. If you can go into the sides, expanding the collarbone. Exhale completely. So how we shrink a little and the belly is dropping towards the spine on the outside. Let's keep going like this for some time. Inhale. And you inhale and expand. Expand the back of the knees as well. Close your eyes, connect to the mouth. So try to make your inhale equal to the exhale. Shoulders up, exhale, roll them down. So we'll be on the shoulder blades today. 
and then you have to stabilize them. And do some preparatory stretches for the shoulders and the chest. And then exhale, draw the breath. See, I'm not bending the elbows. So it's happening in the shoulder blades. It's happening like this. Very good. And bring the block down. Sit in the same position, just reach your right elbow with your left hand and give yourself a nice tricep stretch. Notice if your head wants to go forward, reaching slightly in, reach up through the top of the hair. Okay, breathe. I'm just gonna check the comments. Can you hear me or not? Maybe turn it up. Sure, thank you. So we resist it slightly with this right elbow against the left. And then allow a nice stretch in the triceps, in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Inhale up, exhale other side. So reach your left elbow and start resisting with your left elbow against your right knee. And then allow a stretch. Elbow facing forward and up, and let it go side. It's too much, but also don't push the head forward. Okay. And now we'll reach both elbows. Inhale center, exhale bend sideways. And for this one, if you want, you can do it standing or standing on the knees. Drop the tailbone down. We're going to go to the side. It's more like a banana stretch. So inhale up. Exhale. Good. Now let's add a little bit of resistance. As we go into the right, we just use the right elbow slightly. Take 
Not hear me. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Is it better now? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do the left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Spine stays in neutral. The head is following your torso, your sternum. Okay, good, better. Thank you. Inhale, exhale. Back to the center, let's do the other side. So we're gonna inhale, open your right arm. Exhale, twist and scoop. Sit bones connected to the heels, or again, if you choose to sit on the block or something else, neutral spine. Don't allow your spine to round, especially on the lower back. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, down. Just a couple more. Good, and inhale back to the center, remove the block. Continue with cat cow, so shoulders over the wrists, elbows soft, hips over the knees. Inhale, lift the chest up, keep your neck long, exhale, round the back. So first we're gonna do today full cat cow, and then we'll focus just on the upper body. So keep going here, inhale, long neck, exhale, round in the back, drawing the belly in. Elbows soft. Energize your core on the exhale. You can engage in the core even more, draw it in. And you can almost kind of slide the hands towards the knees to activate your core muscles. Good. Inhale. 
Good. Now back to neutral spine, and we'll do just the scapula push up. So just the upper back. Inhale, soften the shoulder blades together without bending the elbows. Exhale, bring them to the sides. So widening the shoulder blades. Inhale, soften. Keep your neck nice and long. Reach forward through the top of the head. Exhale, finding the movement there. And then move to bring the shoulder blades wide and stable. So that's again those serratus muscles. We're activating them. When we do inversions, especially headstands or handstand, we have to keep those muscles really strong and feel the strength in them. It's actually dangerous to do the inversion. Couple more. Just check it again. Okay, all well, good. All good. Couple more times. And just sort of become aware of them. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. So now, if you have a chair, I'm gonna just use these two bolsters here, but you can also do it with the blocks. Okay, you can just bring the blocks up high like that. Let me show you both variations. So with the bring the blocks or just the elbows shoulder width apart, you're gonna bring your elbow to the further edge of the block, or if you're just using the chair, it's probably easy, you don't have to stabilize. Spine stays in neutral. We're just gonna send the seat bones back. And if it's comfortable, you can relax the head, the neck down. You're getting it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you with the bolsters. So here, just a little bit higher, right? You bring the elbows. The distance is about shoulder width apart. Don't allow it to go out. So again, we're training those muscles. Mm -hmm. And we're stretching triceps at the same time. So here, elbow shoulder width apart. Sending and sit bones back, neutral spine. And you can relax the head. And it's a very nice stretch. Just make sure you're not opening your elbows wide. Good. Stay here for a bit, breathe deeply. The blocks. Nice stretch with the thoracic spine. And let's move a little bit here. We're gonna inhale, just coming up slightly without lifting the shoulder. Exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, down. Keeping your neck long, spine in neutral. Good. And again, stay here for three more deep breaths. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely. Now look forward and slowly come up. Don't fall off your blocks or the chair. Okay, great. Let's take it down on the elbows. And we'll bring that stabilizing exercise in the shoulder blades into the plank. Because when we do the plank, we want to engage those same muscles again, those serratus muscles. Right, so when we're coming up here, neutral spine. So I'm just doing half plank for now. Squeeze the shoulder blades and then widen them. And now leave the knees on the ground. Good, hold, breathe. So your elbows, shoulders apart, you can reach them like that. Right? Making sure the distance. 
That's the perfect distance for the dolphin. That's what we're gonna do next. Preparation for headstands and for the headstands itself. Yeah. All right, so holding the plank. If it's too much for you, do the half plank, totally fine. Neutral spine, engage the core. Good. Shoulder is applied, wide and stable shoulder blades, long neck. Hold, breathe. Good, let's move through the Sphinx pose first. Before we get into Dolphin, we'll do the Sphinx. So it's a gentle stretch, gentle back bend. Soften the shoulder blades, roll the shoulders down. Exhale, widen the shoulder blades, coming up into full plank shifting weight forward. Let's do it several times. Inhale, long neck, exhale. Focusing on what's going on in your shoulder blades. Inhale, soften, exhale, widen. And you can do just half length. And if you feel like you're tense in your here, the shoulders and uh, um, muscles on the top of your shoulders, which is easier. Take a little break, it just means those other muscles are not strong enough to hold you there. All right, good. Child pose just to relax, stretch it out before we get into the dolphin pose. Relax your neck. Inhale back to the uh, to the plank here. Right. Okay. If you're doing the kneeling variation, you still can do it. So knees on the ground. You're just gonna be sending the seat bones up here, right? Well, while, while knees are on the ground. But the full dolphin posture here. So it's almost like downward over the elbows down. Let's move. Inhale. Exhale. Your lower spine, your lower back stays in neutral. Go as far up as you can, don't round the back. With the shoulder blades, we're keeping that activation. So we're pressing down through the forearm and almost like scooping them in a bit. I want you to keep widening those shoulder blades as you're coming up. Good, keep going. Next time you're in the dolphin, start working your feet towards your head. As close as you can. Then when it becomes a little challenging here, press through the forearms and shift yourself a little bit back. Walk, push, shift. Walk, push, shift. There is no pressure on the neck. Whew, that's pretty intense. How are you guys doing? A little bit more, we'll take a little break, and then uh, if you're ready, you can try the headstand or repeat the dolphin. Close. So as you're standing in the pose there, imagine my hands on your shoulder blades, right? And then you wanna slide the shoulder blades away from my hands. Here, shoulder blades. Hands on the shoulder blades, slide them away. Slide them away. Good. And keep your neck relaxed. Excellent, thank you. And take a little break, relax. You connect with a deep breath. The inversions are so important. We didn't really talk about the benefits of the inversions. 
oh, beside this red face, right? Uh, it's, it is great for the circulation, great for your brain to recharge, to, to renew the brain, great for your heart. Okay. Lots of other things too, can fill up the pages. So let's do one more time. Then reach your elbows, keep that distance. Coming up into, well, let's start with the plank. Use your core, widen the shoulder blades. Reach up, walk, push, walk, push. Don't let your elbows slide to the side. Walk like this until your hips over the head. Only then you can place your head down. Okay, but again, I'm not even going to show it to you because I don't want you to encourage you to do it if you haven't tried it. But if you, if it is in your practice, good. That's preparation. Uh, just help you with, uh, with the alignment of your shoulder blades. All right. Let's continue with regular downward dog. Just bring the hands down here. Shoulder widths apart. Spread the fingers. Relax shoulders down. Scoop the elbow slightly in, curl the toes under, spine in neutral, keep this uh, legs bent for now, really reach up through the sit bones. Good. And then you can straighten the legs if you're ready, out of the feet. Keep relaxing your neck. A downward dog is probably one, one of the easiest inversions. Inversions just basically means that your head is below your heart. So this is amazing inversion. It also brings space, sliding on that mat, brings space into the spine. So we feel like you're stretching the sides of your body. Good. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And open your left hip out. Then your right heel down. Just hold it here, getting a bit of a stretch. Next, inhale, look forward, shift your weight forward. Step your left foot between the hands. Low lunge, so square the hips. Swing the arms up, V-shape. You can bring your knee off the ground. Keep your left knee over the heel. And now bring the arms behind the back, roll the shoulders back, neutralize the fingers, open the chest, stretch the shoulders, knee can be down or up. Relax the tailbone down, deep breath. And slowly bring the knee to the ground. Then bring this on the floor, shift your weight back. And then a couple stretches here. Hip flexors and hamstrings. It's very important to stretch really every day. If you have the blocks, you can hold them here. Neutral spine. Good, shift your weight forward, place your hands and step back into downward dog. Good, reconnect with the breathing. Relax your neck. Bend the knees and reach up through the sit bones more, more, more. Inhale, lift your right leg up and open your right hip. Only if it's comfortable, you can just keep it straight up. That's fine as well. Keeping it strong through your shoulders, your upper back, your core. Inhale, look forward, shift your weight forward and step your right foot between the hands. Coming up into low lunge, right knee over the heel. 
square the hips so left hip forward and swing the arms up 60 degree turning palms towards each other external rotation and drawing the shoulder blades down so here in and down and you can lift the knee off the ground throw inner thighs to the center and then deepen the stretch okay here we go <laughs> then bring the arms behind the back interlace the fingers draw the shoulders back long neck Hold, breathe. And exhale, bring it down. Fingertips on the ground, inhale. Exhale, shift your weight back. Hold. Hamstring stretch. Neutral spine. Shoulders relax, long neck. Couple more deep breaths here. And this time shift your weight forward and we're gonna step both feet on the ground here. Toes slightly in, spread the toes, align your knee cup with the second toe. Soften the knees, completely relax here into forward fold. Okay, so this is actually the easiest um, inversion. Get here, no effort in your upper body. Completely relax your neck. Feel really grounded through your feet though. Spread the toes. Feel those three points on your feet. Balance. You can gently shake your head. Or reach your elbows and swing a little side to side. Also allowing the space between the vertebrae. And then you can straighten your legs as much as you can. But we just don't want tension here in the lower back. So maybe connect chest to the sides and from there see if you can straighten the legs. Good. Inhale, look forward, and just come down here through the play, um, through the squat, if it's comfortable. If not, lay down on your back. You're gonna need it. So extend the legs forward. Lie down on your back. Reconnect to the breath. Heels close to the hips. And about. Keep bones weights apart. Relax in the neck, palms facing up. And let's start with the bridge here on the back. So inhaling, rolling the spine up. Exhaling down. Start with the tailbone. Sequential movement. Keep the knees stable. If you notice they still tend to drop in or out, feel free to use the block. Looking straight up whenever we do our inversions here. We start with the bridge where we're gonna go into plow and shoulder stance. Make sure you always look straight forward, not turn your head sideways. So you can watch the instructions first and then start doing the posture. Okay, so try not to do it simultaneously. If you're familiar with the posture, you can just 
and loosen. Couple more. Last one, hold it up. Walk your arms underneath you, interlace the fingers, press the arms down. Walk shoulders towards each other, keep looking straight up. Notice what's going on in your neck. Do you tend to flatten the curve in the neck completely here? And bring your chin completely to the chest? So we want to, you know, escape doing that. <laughs> Space between chin and chest and slide, slide arch in the neck. So if we really flatten that curve and on it, that we can damage the root of Reaching up, engage the core, squeeze the block. Feel your glutes and hamstrings working. Feel like you're sending the tailbone away from the ribs. Good, relax the arms and slowly roll down. Move the block, knees to the chest, rock side to side. Roll the knees out several times. We still want to practice you know, to cover the whole body. Make sure the legs keep us stretched, mobilized. If it's comfortable, reach your big toes, draw knees up and out into the happy baby posture. You can also just reach under your knees here. And as you do it, tailbone on the ground, neck is comfortable. Long. Inhale, straight and relax. Still reaching in there, or you can just bring the hands on the inner side, so reach out through the shells. And deep breath. Don't allow your tailbone to rock up here. Again, you can just do this instead. And then bring the legs close to each other. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, roll the hands, roll the feet. Give it a good shake. Good. And let's bring it down again. So we're gonna use two blocks here. Or just like roll a bunch of towels or blankets. Coming up into the breach again, and I want you to bring two blocks like this, or just one block, whatever height feels comfortable for you. You're gonna bring it under the space between your lower back and the table. So there is like a flat platform there called sacrum. We're gonna aim to bring it right there. So first roll it up into the bridge and then slide the blocks under the platform. It should feel really good. It's not in your lower back. The lower back not gonna feel good. <laughs> so a bit below the lower back, nice and comfortable there. Look straight up, no, notice what's going on in your neck. Relax the shoulders. Stay here for a bit, you can completely relax. Reconnect with deep breathing. So this bridge prepare you for a first uh, variation of shoulder stand, which is gonna be supported shoulder stand. Before we get into that, if you're on your period, uh, don't do the shoulder stand at all. You can just lift the legs up to the wall. So we want to keep the hips in line with, with the chest if you're on your period. But you know your body. Okay, so now inhale, lift your right leg up. Good, exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale. 
Now bring your feet over the hips. And hold here, relax. It's a very relaxing variation of shoulder stand. Your neck should be completely comfortable, not compressed into the ground. You want some space there. Palms facing up, shoulders relaxed. Breathe. Really enjoy this one. And feel free, if that's where you want to be today, feel free to just do this posture several times today instead of doing the progression that's we're about to start. Hold and breathe. So just gonna check here. How are you guys doing? Oh, for option for no blocks. So, again, as I mentioned, if you have several rolled towels, so I, I brought two because we will need the towels or the blanket for another variation anyway. So if you haven't got it, please go and get some. Okay, so two big rolled towels. And if you have them, you can just hold them one more time for this variation. Right? So it's a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Just here, it's not going to be as, you know, it's not going to be as high as with the blocks. But this is okay, it's still, as long as your hips are a little bit above the chest, it's still doing the job, okay? Good, so that's the option where you can stay. But now we're gonna explore the next variation. So if you haven't got your towels, get your towels. Create some nice, actually align them here. So align the towels because that's the edge that's can you see? Okay. okay, so that's the edge that's important. We're gonna lay down bringing up back on the towels, but the shoulder line gonna be a little bit there, not right at the edge, maybe like a couple inches away. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can do it. Grab your towels, place them. Your chair is here. Okay, or your maybe your sofa. Something that you can actually bring the legs over. Especially if you haven't been practicing plow too much without any props. Okay, but this is important because, as I said, when we're on the ground, it's easy to really compress um, the vertebras in the neck. So that will help us to prevent that. Okay, so let's lie down. Align the shoulders so they'll be a little bit below the towel line. And you'll find it, so you'll see your, your head should be on the ground here. And you see how it just allows that slight, slight arch in the neck. It just ensures that it's there. Okay. Good. And now we're gonna raise the knees up. Rest, so it's like you create like a clouds here. Press down into the ground. Don't press with your head, lift the hips up, and then yeah, we're gonna support, support the hips. And if you have the chair, you can land your feet on the chair. I have bolsters here. Good. How are you doing? This is amazing posture. You can see this over there. So yes, it's good for the circulation. Deep breath, you see, we're opening here, we're opening the slow here, we're not compressing anything. Make sure you're not looking sideways, watch first, and then once you're in the pose, don't move. Eventually we'll move closer and closer, and you see I'm doing what I'm saying not to do. We're gonna move closer and closer to the shoulder blade. But don't push yourself there, because it will put more pressure on your spine. How are you guys doing? Okay, no questions so far. I like that we have questions and feedback today. Keep it, keep it coming. <laughs> okay, so keep doing that. You can come out of the posture and try it again. The plow pose itself has so many benefits. Again, it's really good for thyroid, especially, so for a metabolism. Here, comfortable. Whoa. 
And maybe you don't need to cheer. I'm just gonna go other way. So let's see how to do it without the cheer. And we want to actually wrench and move elbows about shoulder width apart, like don't allow them to go sideways, because we want to use that stability and strength in the shoulders to support that. And you see, you can see here, I still have that space between my neck and the ground. Good. To come out for a moment, come out. Um, we'll do fish pose in between just to counterbalance before we get into the shoulder step. Okay, so from here, remove your towels, extend the legs, bring the arms. We'll do this variation pose, just uh, facing up close to the sides, long neck, deep inhale, exhale, and inhale, roll. Back and down, lift the chest up, coming up on top of the head, the back or top, or top of the head. Slight, slight arch in the neck. So we're mostly holding it here with the arms. It's a good posture to counterbalance the plow and the shoulder. If you feel any discomfort in your neck for doing the plow, just come back to that supported shoulder stand. Bringing something under your sacrum, lifting the legs up, and that's it. And relax, bring it down. Good. Gently roll your head side to side. Okay, so we're gonna go into the plow again, and then come on up into the shoulder stand from that. You can use your towels. Mm -hmm. All right, get ready. Remember shoulders a little bit below each. Whatever is comfortable, you'll find it there. So slide, you will want to keep that neutral arch in the neck, just like we do with the lower back. Get ready, allow hands, engage the core. Don't look sideways, look straight up. Inhale, lift, support your back. Move your elbows a little closer to each other. And then see if you can lift one leg up and another leg up. Great variation of inversions. It's also called candle pose. Please. How are you guys doing? Let me know if you're experiencing any concerns. You can eventually then do it without towels as long as you can consciously keep that slight arch in the neck. Towels do ensure that. So no pressure. Again, if you feel any compression in the neck, stop. Come back. Maybe rest in child pose. You can do fish pose to counterbalance. Deep breath. 
And eventually we want to move the hands closer to the shoulder blades. But it's not necessary right now. We bring the hands down on the chair. Extend the arms. Arms down. Support. Engage the core. And slowly unroll the spine. Good job. Right away, we're going to counterbalance with, with fish pose. So, pause. You can try another variation. The full variation is palms facing down and under the hips. But here I find sometimes people bring the shoulders up. Right? So as long as you're not lifting the shoulders towards the ears. Please hold open. Long neck. It doesn't work to this variation, thumbs up. That kind of ensures that shoulders rolling down. Opening the throat, opening the chest. And relax, bring it down. Hands behind the neck. And just with the weight of your head, gently stretch it. Don't compress it for it. Good and relax. Let's do a couple stretches here on the ground. So first, just roll your head side to side. And inhale back to the center. Bring the knees up. And bring your right ankle left knee figure four stretch and gently walk side to side press with the ankle against the left side hips are on the ground tailbone is on the ground it can be anywhere you can do it here depends on your flexibility we'll take it into a nice twist so open your right arm inhale Exhale, twist to the left, look to the right. And then stretching the hip. Also open and stretching here, chest, shoulder, neck. Inhale back to the center. Switch sides. Left ankle above your knee. Figure four without twist in the hips. Draw it towards you. Keep it wherever it's comfortable. Maybe it's here. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, open your left arm out. And exhale, twist this whole structure to the right and look to the left. Good. Back to the center. From here, turn on the belly. Okay, Leslie is here. Come on. Yeah. That's not the same. That's fine. Sit here. Okay. So, on the belly, T shape with the arms. Let's stretch your chest. Okay. Bend your left leg. Right cheek on the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Reach across with your left leg. So, you're feeling nice stretch in your right chest, right shoulder. Relax. If your leg is not touching the, the ground, 
that's okay too. You can just hand there. Oops. <laughs> Inhale, center. Let's do the other side. So you can start with the T shape. You can go a little bit up to different parts of the path. Stretching. Bend your right knee and reach across with your right leg while pressing down to your left palm. Slowly coming back to the center, and back to child pose, hips to the heels. Deep breath into the back of your ribs. Next inhale coming up, sitting on the heels. Going to one more stretch for the shoulders. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, right arm over the left. If you can, one elbow on top of another. Interlace the arms. It's called eagle pose. But if they don't go all the way there, no worries. You can just do this stretch. Right? Just taking the arm across. That's the whole point. Just stretch your shoulders. But if you're here, you can add a bit of resistance. So with your right elbow, press against your left forearm. And then take it across. Resist and stretch. Resist and stretch. Good. Inhale, center, open the arms. Exhale, left arm over the right, left elbow on top of the right, or hold it here. Inhale, resist with the left elbow against your right forearm, and then stretch across. Shoulders stay down. You can lift the elbows up if you want more stretch, but don't lift up your shoulders. Good, back to the center, give it a little shake. We're just going to do one more stretch for the neck. So bring your right arm around, draw the shoulder back. So you can even reach this other arm here. And bring your right left ear to the left shoulder. Inhale, turn your nose in diagonal and bring the nose down. Listen deeply, allowing the stretch to go into the neck, into the shoulder blade. Inhale, center. Switching sides, so left arm around. So first, just hold it here, and left ear to the left shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder. Drawing the left shoulder back and down. You can bring right hand on top, turn the nose in diagonal, bring it down.
and then fell back to the center. Good. Slowly lay down on the back. And I'm just going to continue in Savasana here. If you feel you need more stretching, maybe another twist or maybe another hamstring stretch, do that. Maybe do a little bit. But if you're ready, bring legs and arms apart, palms facing up. Gently roll your head side to side. Come back to the center. Soften the breath. Soften the belly, soften the heart. Soften and relax your shoulders, your neck. Completely relax. Softening your face, relaxing your eyes. Relaxing your forehead. Relaxing your tongue. Your entire body completely relaxing. And you can stay in Savasana as long as you wish. And if you're ready to get up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, side out. Again, deep inhale. Exhale, side out. One more time. Deep inhale. Exhale. Wake up slowly, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, roll the hands, roll the feet. One direction, another direction. And bring the arms up over the head, give yourself a nice stretch. And exhale, bring knees to the chest, hug them in, rock side to side.
I mean, radio on your right side. Stay here for a moment. And whenever you're really slowly coming up, just see it. Sit in cross legged or walk pose, whatever is more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Take a moment here, close your eyes. We're assessing how your body is feeling, how your breath is flowing. Take a moment to observe the thoughts, the emotions. Center, one deep inhale, and exhale. Namaste. Thank you for joining and thank you for your feedback. Let you know how the practice felt for you and if you'd like to focus on something else next time. Okay, have a nice weekend, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you soon. Bye.